All right, so I was playing around with polynomials and Pascal's triangle, and it occurred to me that the numbers that we use are, it's weird what it is that they do, right? So if you have, like, two of the same thing added together, and you square it, you could say you have four of that thing squared. But if we do the same exact thing and our two things are slightly different, it doesn't work that way. You get one of the first thing squared, one of the second thing squared, and two of the combined of the multiplication of the other, the, both of the objects, right? And when you, you know, develop this out, you get basically Pascal's triangle. Right, like this. So, to the zero we get one. To the first we get this guy and that guy. Squared we get one of this, two of those, and one of these. Cubed we get one of those, three of those, three of those, one of those. To the fourth we get one, four, six, four, and one. To the fifth we get one, five, ten, ten, five, and one. Right? It's Pascal's triangle, right? But, this one is completely different from this one. This one is a coefficient. 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 This one is completely dimensionless. There's also this weird thing where if you if you go negative, we can't do shit about this. <laughs> like, we don't have a way of indicating this. Okay, so I just like, okay, sort of using like old school Egyptian technique, just kind of like put a dot over it. All right, so dot one means one over one, dot two means one over two. But here it's, it's the same numerator over all of these because that's important. All right, so now if we flesh out what we get here, we get like old school Pascal's triangle, except this guy right here, this one is never a coefficient. It's the dimensionless unit. This is different. It's not just a one. This, is, this pinch point here is actually importantly different from everything else. And then we get this inversion of the, of the thing with the, with the fractions. <clears throat> and this guy right here, in a very, very fundamental way, this is what four, the number four, really should be, but isn't. Similarly, this is what one quarter really should be, but isn't. So in a sense, even in, rec even in identifying numbers, We've done it wrong in a very basic way that we actually already know about because this is. We've known about this for a very long time now, long before Pascal. Pascal was not even the first person using it with polynomials, right? Like he w it was used a long time before him. This is an ancient <laughs> piece of knowledge, but it's not really been incorporated into our understanding of counting which is weird yeah I, I don't know I don't entirely know what to do with this but there's definitely problems that are highlighted by just this.